The Input Data Tool. This is where it all begins in your Alteryx workflow. The Input Data Tool brings data into your workflow by connecting to a file or database. To connect to data, first we'll drag and drop an Input Data Tool onto the canvas. This tool can be found in your Favorites category, so let's snag it from there. Next, let's click the drop-down arrow next to connect a file or database. Here, we'll see a pop-up. This displays a data connections window. We need to configure our data connection using one of the following options, recent, saved, files, data sources, or gallery. Let's select files. Connecting to files is super easy in Alteryx. You can use the file connections area to drag or select the file you want to use, but there's an even easier method. Let's close out the data connections window and find a local file. Drag and drop a file onto the canvas. Boom. Review a couple options if prompted, and you're ready to go. Since we're using Excel, first we need to determine what data we want to use. Let's select Order Sheet and configure the connection. We know the Configuration Properties window needs to be set up differently for each specific function of each Alteryx tool. The Input Data Tools configuration will also look different depending on the data connections type you have selected. For Excel, we can limit the records from the input data, append a field with a file name or path to each record, determine if the first row should be treated as data and not a header, define a line number on which to start reading data. One thing we can usually rely on is a good preview of the incoming data set in the Tools Configuration menu. The preview is limited to 100 records, or sometimes fewer with wide files. To view all data, you can use a Browse tool, which we'll cover in another video. So that's how you get started with the Input Data tool, and usually started with any workflow you're going to build in Alteryx. Thanks for watching. You can find out more about this tool's capabilities in the Alteryx tool documentation, which can be found in the description section of this video. Keep up with the latest Data Coach videos by hitting that subscribe button. And if you have an Alteryx tool or macro you want to see included in the 2-Minute Tool Collection, give us a shout on Twitter at AskTessellation, or tweet at me at Nick612Hayland. Until next time, your Data Coach and Alteryx ace, Nick Hayland.